I'm going to show you how to transfer your data from spelling inventories that you've already started in my basic primary spelling inventory over to the premium new product, the premium automatic primary spelling inventory. All right, I've got the premium open. I'm going to open up the basic one that I've already done this year in August, and I only want certain data to transfer over. I've already got what I want in the new setup and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer that over to the premium. Uh, first thing I want to do is just select right here um, and you can even just select um, these eight boxes. You want those to transfer so I'm going to select those. I'm gonna um, copy here. Copy however you want. I'm gonna do it on the screen so you can see it. Copy just those values and then go over to the premium and click where you want it to paste and paste it in and they'll paste in just those values. It's important that you don't select certain cells on here so I'm going to show you the ones to select. Um, next you're going to just select this grid right here. Don't select anything else and don't select these numbers down here at the bottom. That's also important. Um, it may or may not mess up if you select those. So let's copy that I did command C that time and um, I started with spelling words here so I'm gonna go click over here and start right here on spelling words and I'm going to paste those in. Do you want to replace the contents of the selected cells? Yes I do. And then all of my data is um, now where it belongs. I didn't get those numbers at the bottom. My spelling inventory is now set up. If I look at the spelling inventory page, that's ready to go. If I look at the quick entry page, all of that is ready to go. Now I'm going to transfer the data from the quick entry pages over to the new premium. I'm going to do that by selecting quick entry and again just selecting certain data. All right, and I've got to do it in a very specific way. I'm going to select just these names, and these are not my real student names, in case you're wondering. Um, they're just fictitious names. I'm going to select up to that um, space where their new numbers are, and copy. I'm going to do Command C and copy, and then select that student right there, type it in. I'm going to go ahead and enter the date. I'm going to enter it as August here. And now I need to keep going because I have more students. So I'm going to go back and select the rest of my students here. I have 20 students. Copy just those names and then click here and paste. All right, now I need to put what they actually spelled because it just highlighted that they spelled everything correctly, which is not true. This um, ended up just being a little confusing and it's not really needed so it's not in the new premium inventory. Be careful not to copy and paste that in. You want to avoid that when you're copying and pasting your data. Alright, now I'm going to go back to my beginning and this time I'm going to do a different kind of paste. It's not hard though. Hang in there with me. I'm going to select all of their spellings up through that number block there. And I'm going to do Command C to copy, but then when I paste over here, I'm going to paste differently because there are some formulas in there that I really don't want to transfer over to this new document. I'm going to right click and select Paste Special. Notice I'm starting in the same spot that I want the paste to start in. I'm right clicking on that first fan right there and clicking Paste Special and then I'm selecting values only. I only want the values. Click OK and all of the correct data will transfer over. Now I need to start with Scott Lee here. Click on my back to my August primary and get all of that data. Do the exact same thing. Alright. And I'm going to Command C, regular copy, but then I'm going to paste special. This time I'm going to start right under Scott Lee, right click on the word fan under him and paste special. And make sure I do values only. Say OK. All right, now that's all I need to do for each one of these. I can go in and um, do my October and I have one again in December. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I've got my August and my October and now my December data all in. Make sure that you spell the kids' names the same way every time. It doesn't matter what order you put the kids in, but you do need to spell them the exact same way. Now let me show you what it did here. We've got spelling inventories for August. If you scroll over to the right, here's that same child, what they look like in October, and the improvement in December. So you can see their improvement for each child through the months as you go. You can administer up to five times for that same student. And you also get groupings for those students for five um, months, up to five months. And you have the progress reports. And you can take a look at students and how they're progressing. You can notice my fictitious Jesse Jones here. Um, started off August to October with kind of a flat line and then took a major jump in spelling. You have their total score, their feature points, their words spelled correctly, and what stage of development they were in all through that uh, stage. Um, it does that for all 36, up to 36 students. You can look at their data and then it also gives you a class report with how your class is doing from August through, well, whenever you put your own months in there. All right, hope that helps. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.